Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I want to address something that WJack4728 brought up in the comments of my XE wishlist video. So, DOSBox lost support in a recent driver's update for Intel Arc on Windows a few months back. At first, I found this news a bit absurd because I believe that most games requiring DOSBox could easily run on a modern CPU these days. However, upon researching further, even the Intel support personnel who monitors the online Intel Arc support page seemed baffled by this issue. So, in today's video I'm going to try and install and play SimCity 2000, the MS-DOS version, on my modern Linux machine. Specs-wise, I'm running it on an i5-13500 with an A770, a Western Digital SSD, and 32GB of DDR4 RAM. I got my copy of SimCity from Good Old Games for just 99 cents. However, since there's no native Good Old Games client on Linux, I'll be using Lutris as the game launcher. Let's get to it, shall we? I'll start by getting this OBS window out of the way. Here, we have Lutris displaying my GOG game library, or Good Old Games library. Installing it on a Linux system can vary, but I used OpenSUSE's YAST to install it from the game's tools repository. Clicking on the SimCity 2000 title brings up an installation window. I have a choice to install it via DOSBox or Wine. It seems GOG versus GOG auto-generated means that Lutris will either install using GOG components or an automatically generated, possibly generic environment involving Wine. Confirming the directory by clicking next, Lutris sends a request to GOG. I noticed some extra content, and why not? I'll download all of it. The install process starts by downloading everything. I'm old enough to remember having to leave my computer on overnight to download a... Uh, copy of SimCity 2000. Lots of errors related to Mango HUD because, uh, this game might be older than some of the people working on Mango HUD. Alright, installation is complete. Not sure if I can change the mayor's name, maybe I clicked through that part too quickly. The sound's working fine, though it seems the music is turned off. Fightville, why not, right? 1950? No. Set the starting point to 2000, because it's been at least 20 years since it was 2000. I guess this white square is what people used to close windows before 1995. Getting reacquainted with the interface, I'll level this Terran and pick up the pace. Hmm, that rhymed. I didn't mean for that to rhyme. SimCity 2000 gameplay on OpenSUSE using my Intel Arc card. Building a solar power plant. Power lines. Managing the budget. And roads. Setting up residential and commercial areas. Water pumps, power lines, and pipes. Infrastructure essentials. Fast forward to 2019, and it seems I'm leaning heavily on SimCity 3004 strategy. Residential demand is high, but commercial and industrial demand seem to be in the toilet. Well, this runs smoothly on my Intel Arc card, or any other brand's graphics chip. I don't think there's some malevolent plot at Intel to take away people's ability to use DOSBox on Windows. It was probably a matter of removing some code somewhere that someone thought wasn't necessary, and it turned out that code was what allowed DOSBox to run. Hopefully this accident doesn't have to happen on Linux with future driver updates. 
To conclude, you can easily run this on a Linux system, whether it's an old netbook or a thin notebook made in the last 15 years. Perfect for a plane or train ride without draining too much battery power. A 30 year old game that gets your brain gears turning. Who needs a modern AAA game for entertainment, right? Thanks for tuning in. Until next time.